you for tuning in to Sundays at the Square. I am your host, Tony Ringold, and I hope everyone is having a wonderful weekend thus far. As usual, I am loving this weather, and I hope that it starts to get a little cooler. I hope everyone is getting ready for the fall season and pulling out the sweaters and dusting off the corduroy. Do anybody wear corduroy? Uh, I don't know. Okay. I know velour is coming back out, well, though. Wait, what? And twill. T- who? Twill. Tweed. Twill. Oh. <laughs> twill? What is twill? I've never heard of this. This is a new, this is a yeah. new cover. <laughs> tweed. Tweed. It's okay. like the different stitches design. Yeah, I know yeah. what tweed okay, is. So tweed. Yeah. I just didn't heard of twill. I'm like, this is real. It's yeah. Twill. You know, you know how sometimes we think we know what we're talking about and yeah. we don't. And you said it so with such a straight yeah, face. I did. Listen, I know we are already in here talking, but I'm sure you, some of you recognize this beautiful voice done other than Miss Lavina and Norwood Sabri. That's a whole oh, <laughs> All my government names. names. <laughs> oh, man, how many times have you been on the show, Miss Lavina? I think this is my second or third time. Yeah, it has to be third. Mm-hmm. I think at least third. Mm-hmm. Listen, it's always a hoot when she comes in. She is an amazing person, and she does so much in the community. I'm sure a lot of you have know, know who she is. If you don't know who she is, you will know, honey. Now, <laughs> there are so many different things that you've done. She is the owner of So Natural Organic Restaurant. Baby, let me tell you something. I went in there, and I got some macaroni and cheese. Now, this is organic food, so I was a little nervous. I ain't gonna lie. I was nervous because I ain't got no pouring and no little <laughs> bacon grease <laughs> got none of this stuff in here i went in there and got some macaroni and cheese honey changed your life i was like this is healthy it was wonderful Thank she has you. and she just and a whole bunch of stuff and also i need to talk to your baby so i can get some more soap yes that soap that that soap that she gave me um was amazing so they do all kinds of things in the community she has over 21 different bars of soap in the restaurant right now see i need to come pay y'all a business mm-hmm. as soon as we finish with this yeah yeah i'm gonna have to come over there and give me some because i mean it lathers up so well and it just stays okay y'all i'll be talking about soap for the rest of the day <laughs> <laughs> for the rest of the day but i'm gonna go ahead and turn it over to miss Levine. i'm gonna let her tell you why she's here today all right Okay, I am here to discuss the Black Business Showcase that's coming up on October 28th. I'm also here to talk about the Armed Forces Natural Hair and Health Expo um, that's coming up on October 29th. And also David Banner that will be here October 29th as well. Awesome, 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 awesome. So. I will tell you guys that I have had the privilege of being involved in the Armed Forces Natural Hair and Health Expo. It has always been an amazing event. I mean, you get, you see so much, you learn so much. There are people from all, all across the world that actually come. Talk about some of your past guests of people that have come to the, to the hair uh, expo. Oh, wow. Um, well, one that's right on the top of my mind is uh, L. Young. He was there. He's the singer from California. Yes. And he just came out with a new song and video that's called No More, like No More to Police Brutality and things like that. Yeah. So we're going to be airing that at the expo because it just brought me to tears when I seen it. And oh. the beautiful, his beautiful voice and what his description in the video, it was just phenomenal. So we will have that. Um, so he's one of our guests. We've had Kim Coles before. Yes. And um, let me see who else. We've had Noel Gordine yes. there. We've had Laditra White last year. Yes. With um the youngest motivational speaker, King Na. King Na. And yes. if you guys are on social media, I am sure that you have seen some of King Na's videos. He is such a remarkable young man. I love watching his stuff. Um, and then you also had Dr. Umar. Yes, yes, Dr. we Umar had Johnson Dr. Umar Johnson there. We've had Mark Wingo. He's the financial uh, expert. We've had Diana Ramsey to yes. come with uh, Sisters with Beauty. And, oh, Ty. Remember Ty? He's from Austin. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. he was there. Um, he did both of our shows when we did one in San Antonio and one in Colleen. And I'm thinking... I can't think. Just a whole bunch? Yeah, a whole lot. And I mean, and the, th- and the thing also that I love is the, the vendors. And then you see so many people with natural hair. Yes. All kinds. I mean, they could have locks. You'll see some with afros. You'll see some with the little short, little 
Bro, you'll see somebody. I mean, it's just like the twists and all these. And then what are some of the things that you offer at the expo for people that may have never been before? Oh, wow. So we have entertainment all throughout the day. Yep. We start with the poets. This year we're going to add comedians. So um, that's what's going to happen this year. We're going to have a live natural hair demonstration this year, which I'm very excited about. We also are going to have... Um, uh, singers dancers drummers we will have a natural hair competition uh, amongst the cosmetology students they will be able to win five hundred dollars uh, in either uh, products that are that's purchased at a beauty store of our choice mm-hmm. or they will be able to have the five hundred dollars applied to their tuition if they're in a school that they will have to pay for so that's one of the um, other things that we go- have going on we will have a braiding class the Colleen um, Independent School District cosmetology students they will conduct a braiding class we will have natural grocers there that will yes. give a class on health we have awesome. so, yes we have so much going on um this year for the first 100 attendees they will get a free gift bag oh and i got some- the gift bag last year they had goodies too <laughs> i had to stop you right there i mean okay. some good stuff like not i'm telling you and i'm full not like size little, products yeah right. like real full size not yes. little stuff stuff that lasts and it worked real real good like you you went and tried to find where wherever it was like, right it's a lot of really good products so yeah. some of our sponsors this year, first of all, we would like to thank the City of Colleen Arts Commission because they are one of our sponsors in our host hotel. Shout out. Is the um, Hilton Garden Inn. Awesome. But our sponsors for the products are, uh, we have Miss Jessie's products so far, Shea awesome. Musher's product, and we have Owen Handmade products as oh, well. these are yes. big name products. Yes, like, yes. Yeah, the real deal. I'm trying to tell y'all. <laughs> Y'all need to be there. I'm trying yes, to tell you. Yes. All right. So if you're just tuning in, you are tuned in to Sundays at the Square. Uh, I'm your host, Tony Ringgold, and I'm sitting here with Miss Lavina Sabri. She is the founder of the Armed Forces Natural Hair and Health Expo. We're sitting here talking about all of the things going on, plus the Black Business Show- Showcase, which we'll touch on in just a minute. Now, for our live listeners, those that are tuning in via Facebook right now, you have an opportunity to win two tickets to this wonderful expo that we're talking about. Now, if you get the tickets to the expo, do you have access to all the classes? Yes. And the workshops? Yes. There's it not is, an additional it's included, charge? Right. No additional charge. Did you hear that, guys? And what were some of the workshops again? Uh, the braiding class, that's one of the big classes that we're going to have. So that those of you who do not know how to braid, you will be able to learn how to braid. We will have classes that are on health and we will have classes that are on fitness. So it, it's a lot um, of classes. We're going to have Linwood that will be there. Yes. He always has a big class. We're going to have Malika Tamu Cooper. She'll be there, which is um, also another big class that we'll be having um she's there she's been there from the beginning she's actually my mentor and then we'll also have um jesse from jay andreas oh, and Austin. Jesse. yeah so he'll be there teaching a the class there okay. as well and he'll also be a vendor this year selling his products awesome okay so listen guys here are two tickets right here for you and somebody else <laughs> y'all can come to the armed forces natural hair and health expo if you can answer this question, and what is that question, Miss Lavina? You will have to be able to tell us what does the hashtag A F N H H E stands for. Did y'all hear that? What does the hashtag A F N H H E stand for? The way that you're going to answer this is you need to be tuned into the live Facebook feed, and I need you to comment. On the B106 page where we're going live right now. I need you to comment on there. I need you to say what does the hashtag A-F-N-H-H-E stand for. Now, when you put your answer into the comments, what's going to happen is you are going to be entered in for a drawing. At the end of this broadcast, we will draw a name for whoever gets it. Or if there's just one person that gets the answer right, then they're an automatic winner by default. <laughs> but, again, it should. I just want y'all to put your thinking caps on and just think of, for a second. What does A-F-N-H-H-E stand for? All right, so let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Okay. Why did you even create? 
the Armed Forces Natural Hair and Health Expo. Because so many women are returning to their natural hair and they do not have a clue on how to take care of it and how to manage it. And I want it to be that resource for them to assist them. And so what happened was we initially had Natural Hair Day. Mm -hmm. And when I met Malika, went to one of her classes actually in um, Dallas at another Mm -hmm. Natural Hair Expo. The information that she was providing there, I wanted to be able to share with our community. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I started in back in 2011. Awesome, 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 awesome. And so I remember when I first moved to the this area, because mm-hmm. I'm originally from Austin. Mm-hmm. When I first moved to this area, you used to have actual classes in your home. Yes, I did. And you would teach. And I just thought that that was so amazing, first of all, that you would open up your home to complete strangers. Right. And let people come in. And I remember coming to the class and just feeling so like it was fun Mm -hmm. and it was different. And I just I just saw all the different ladies and we would just sit there and just do each other's hair. And I mean, you're actually really good at doing hair, too. Thank you. Yeah. So (laughs) did you did you ever go to cosmetology school or you just were always good? Like, how did you even learn how to do? I actually taught myself how to braid when I was about six years old on one of my Barbie dolls. Okay. And I just kept it up since then. And um, when new styles would come out, I would like try them on my sister and things like that because it was just something that I enjoyed doing. I also um, started in cosmetology in high school because I went to a vocational high school mm-hmm. and um, I found out we were taking too too many tests, like one too many. And I decided not to. I wanted to go into something easier. And that's actually how I started in culinary arts. So oh, I switched wow. over to culinary arts. So, Miss Lavina, how many occupations have you had? Because I think that you are like, <laughs> you have done, and not only you have done, but like have credentials in a lot of different fields. So just name some of those fields for me. This is mm, fun. Okay. Well, um, I'm a registered nurse. Mm-hmm. Yes. And, um, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Look at her trying to be modest. You a registered nurse. You know how to do hair. You can cook. Ain't that some sister stuff for you, ain't it? What else you get? You, you know how to fix cars? Like, uh, no, but I did used to be a wholesale car dealer. <laughs> See? Dealing cars? That's called a hustler. That's what that is. A At heart, truly. <laughs> truly. If you are just tuning in, you are tuning in to Sundays at the Square. I'm your host, Tony Ringold, and I'm sitting here with the Renaissance woman herself, Miss Lavina Sabri. We are talking about the Armed Forces Natural Hair and Health Expo. And remember, for our live viewers, you have an opportunity to win two tickets. That's right, two tickets. These tickets will get you into all the classes. You get to see all the vendors. You get to see all the entertainment. You get to have all the fun all day long, and <laughs> all you have to do is answer what question, Miss Lavina? What does the hashtag AFNHHE stand for? What does the hashtag AFNHHE stand for? All you need to do is comment in these comments. I see some comments coming through. (laughs) All you have to do is comment. And at the end of this broadcast, your name will be pulled. And if your name is pulled, you will win these two tickets. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick break. 